Hi, Yeoman is a workflow of tools for helping you stay productive on the front end. It's composed of three things. Grunt, a JavaScript task runner for helping you automate repetitive tasks like script concatenation and minification, compiling your SAS or your coffee script, and a number of other build-related tasks. Yo, a scaffolding tool for the front end that helps you avoid writing boilerplate code by doing it for you. It'll help you start a project and also install some grunt tasks that are relevant to the type of project that you're working on. And finally, there's Bower, a package manager for the web that helps you avoid having to manually go and fetch dependencies or libraries that you might need on your own. It'll help you keep them up to date as well. Now, to get started with Yeoman, we head on over to the command line. Um, I assume that you have Node.js installed, which will also come with NPM, the Node Package Manager. If not, feel free to go and grab it. So we install Yeoman by running npm install yo and then g just to install it globally because it's a tool. Now as part of this process, it's going to install grunt and bower for you so you don't have to do it yourself. Now I know that this waterfall looks a little bit crazy, but it's basically installing the different dependencies that these tools need. And you usually just have to do it once um, for a project. So it's gone and it's done that now. Now Yeoman uses this concept of generators, which are basically a way of scaffolding out a particular type of project for, for with a particular type of workflow. So um, when you're working on a new uh, web application, for example, you might use Generator Web App, the Yeoman generator for web applications. Uh, to get this installed, we can use npm again and just run npm install Generator Web App, and we'll again install this globally. Some of the things that Generator Web App can help you with are taking care of your SAS workflow, your CoffeeScript, Require.js. Um, it supports modernizer and, and leaner modernizer builds, and of course things like uh, Twitter Bootstrap 3. So we've gone and we've installed Generator Web App. Now um, we can actually run it by uh, just calling yo, our Yeoman binary, and Web App. When we do this, it's going to ask us a few questions. So would you like to include Twitter Bootstrap for SAS? Um, would you like to include Require.js or Modernizer? Now, these options do a few other things than they say, but they basically help make sure that um, if you choose one of them, um, such as Modernizer, we actually go and install some other grunt tasks that will help with your Modernizer workflow. And they'll just help to ensure that your builds are as, as streamlined and as lean as possible. So it's going and it's getting the different dependencies that your, your grunt tasks and, um, might need and, and any of the other optimization tools that we use might need. Um, generally speaking, this, this should take just a minute or two and it will be ready. So it's, it's running, it's fetching all this stuff from NPM, and, uh, and then we have to go and get your different libraries that you might need from Bower, so uh, things like jQuery, for example. And there we go. And we can now actually preview what this has created for us by running grunt server. So this is going to go fire off, compile your, stat, your SAS and, and any of the other preprocessors you're using. Um, and uh, it'll create a preview of the application that we can go and check out in our browser. And there we go. We have a Twitter Bootstrap 3 page um, with a summary of the different things that have been installed for us. And uh, we can actually go and uh, start playing around with the source for this in our favorite text editor. So I'm just going to sort of resize my browser alongside Sublime Text here. Now uh, what we've got here is sort of a tree view of, of the application that's been created. I can go into the app directory and if we go into index.html, we can actually start exploring the source and, and making changes. So I'm just going to um, scroll down, and uh, I see that I've got a h1 here. So I'm just going to modify that to say something else. So maybe, you know, awesome. And what you'll see happen is that the browser is automatically refreshed to show us that this, uh, that the sort of the constant state of the application, the current state. And uh, this is really useful because it means that you can actually go and make as many changes to your source as you want, whether it's the index or um, your, your, you know, your SAS files, your CSS, your um, abstractions like, uh, like CoffeeScript and so on. And uh, your, your application will always reload to just give you that nice real-time view of what's going on. We can actually then go and create a production-ready build of our app. Best by running Grunt, this is going to do is uh, it's going to go and lint your project, It'll uh, go and uh, optimize your scripts, try to get them as, uh, as lean and as small as possible. It'll do the same thing for your style sheets, any of your other abstractions. If you have images in your project, we'll actually run them through a few different image optimization tools. Um, and uh, at the very end of the process, we'll just give you a report about the build to let you know where time was spent and what's taking the longest in case there's further work that can be done there. 
But that's basically it. Um, you can go and you can now ship this off to production um, and be happy. Uh, so that's Yeoman. Um, it's basically a, a really nice workflow for helping you rapidly create new applications and automating some of the tooling that we generally use on the front end. We hope you find it useful. For, uh, for more information, please feel free to check us out at yeoman.io. Uh, you can also check out gruntjs.com and bower.io uh, for more information on those tools individually. So that's it for me. Thanks, and we hope you found this useful.